Everyone moves differently, and a total hip replacement should be optimized to account for this. Current research suggests that the hip joint moves very differently from person to person. These hip movements directly affect the way your implants perform after your operation. When it comes to the report that the surgeon receives with the OPS system, it's actually a thorough report that shows not only the patient's dynamic pelvic mobility with respect to flexion and extension of the lumbar spine, but you also get the 3D reconstruction of the CT scan with PDF files that allow you to actually manipulate the pelvis in three-dimensional space and you can visually see where your cup is going to be before you even go into the OR. I do anterior approach hips on all of my primary hips. Historically, we use intraoperative fluoroscopy to help with cup positioning. I think the OPS system provides us with just another tool. I find it useful in my practice for that select group of patients that may have some altered uh, functional pelvic motion related to lumbar spine degenerative disc disease or prior lumbar fusion. Uh, I think in those patients it, it can be valuable in just giving you one more tool to help position the acetabulum.